Hi there, everybody. I'm Jennifer Bryan at our beautiful Southeastern Guide Dogs campus. I'm joined by Marissa Blanco. She is one of our service training team managers. Did I get that right? Correct. Oh, good. I did. Uh, and this is Astro. He's pretty famous, really. He does a lot of appearances. <laughs> yes. Um, and we are going to talk today about Subarus. Uh, Subaru is Come. one of our Walkathon sponsors. They're a signature sponsor. They have been for Good. many, many years. So, so grateful for all of their yes. support. Awesome. Um, and we use these Subarus. We have a couple in our in our fleet. And Marissa, you for one drive them around um, because our trainers need to use them for various reasons. Yes. Okay. Um, Someone. Wanna, wanna, <laughs> go ahead. Let me just cut you off. <laughs> uh, you want to tell us a little bit about? Um, you want to start with where we put the dogs? Um, when they're riding or do you want to talk about I think we're good real quick I did check the pavement it's always okay. safe to do that it is not too hot we want to make sure that uh, the pavement is not too hot where their feet are burning so we want to be cautious and conscientious of that but um, the reason we use our vehicle so much and we're so thankful for Subaru is that we do a lot of follow-ups and so we might be taking dogs on follow-ups home placements um, traveling anytime um, once uh, someone has graduated from here, there is a 90 day follow up. So okay. if we aren't flying, we are driving and taking them in these vehicles, um, as well as we have our lifetime commitment to anyone with a dog. So if we cannot help mitigate the issues over the phone, then we're gonna drive up. And oftentimes with the service dog program, they're gonna bring a dog with them when they do a home interview as well. So it's really good that these dogs are comfortable riding in a vehicle, a nice safe area as well, which we will demonstrate here in just a minute. Okay, love it. All and right. Astro's a pro. He's a big dog too. He so is. He's a great example to use, cause this is not a huge car. Right. But you're, you're it, pretty good at making yeah, it work. Yeah, we'll show that like even though they're, they're larger, like they do know how to roll up kind of into a little ball. Yeah. So. Um, are we ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is demonstrate as if I was riding with him on the passenger side. So maybe I'm a client. So I'm going to get in first. Oh, I did so not that know that. <laughs> I can call him in and good boy. Turn. Good. So he's in. What eventually we will do is make sure he is in a down position because airbags safety hazard, right? right. So I'm going to tuck his tail in. All right, and down, down. And usually we just kind of let them figure it out on their own. I do have the seat all the way back. Excellent. Uh -huh. Tail is always very critical to uh -huh. make sure it is tucked in. We do not want that to get oh, that would be um, terrible. caught. That could really become an issue with yeah. them going. So as you can see, he's doing this perfect. Yeah. He is just resting his head, very calm. This is what we like. I do want to mention one thing. It is really important to make sure before you load your dog in the vehicle, mm -hmm. if it is a warm day, that the, uh, the car has already been started with the air on high um, for two reasons. We'll show the second reason later. But if they come in here, just like us in the summertime, when we first get in our car, it is so hot. So hot. Imagine the dogs. It takes them longer to cool down. So right. we want it to be a fun, positive experience. So he's got plenty of air blowing on him. He's quite content. We could probably travel for a while. Yeah. If we were going on a long trip, I would suggest taking uh, the equipment off just so that they can have a little more room maybe. By equipment, um, you mean vest, harness, I would say the vest, anything? harness, okay. anything if they're riding up front. If it's okay. short trips, very easy to just throw this on. If we're going 10 minutes on the road, then get out and then we're all set. Okay. All right. And then to get out, what I'm going to do is he's going to stand out. And then I'm just going to come out. He's clear of the doorway so no tail mm -hmm. can get stuck. And then okay. door would shut. All right. Good boy. Okay. And so again, this, this really surprised me when you showed me earlier, there's a really big crate in here. <laughs> I didn't think it would fit, but it did. It did. It did in this vehicle, which is awesome. So it is a good size for, um, him. Obviously, um, if I am not someone, if I'm driving this dog somewhere, let's say to place him, mm -hmm. I want to make sure if I don't have a crate that he can also land on the floorboard. So I'd right. like to demonstrate that real quick oh. so that you guys can again. see. If, if that is okay, okay. yep. Of in. course. <laughs> so I would turn him in, turn. Okay. All right. Down. Nope. Down. So okay. sometimes they just have to adjust. Good boy. Okay. Tail is tucked. Biggest thing, stay. Uh -huh. We don't want them climbing on the seat. I'm going to walk around and just get in. Okay. He stood up, but down. Good boy. And then we would say, be safe to go. So at any point, He's a good traveler. I want to make sure he's just not going to be where that airbag in the event something were to happen okay. that it could injure him because it totally could. Okay. All right. So he's I'm so going to get him he's now. So used to this. 
All right. All right. Oh, good boy. The next thing I would like to demonstrate is if you have a vehicle, which this is one of the Subaru Crosstracks, um, and you can fit a crate in there. Let me find our, <laughs> I'm used to. Oh, there you there go. go. All right. So um, what we would normally do is equipment would come off the dog going okay. in. Um, I am not going to take the leash and collar off until he is in. It's plenty cool back here. I'm going to tell him in. Good boy. Turn. I am going to treat him for that because I always wanted to be positive. Mm -hmm. And I would be taking leash and collar off. Oh, uh, really? I know it sounds like, oh, they should have it on. But in the event of anything, we do not want them to get tangled up. Oh, sure. I would make sure this is locked and secure. Okay. Um, just for the purpose of this, I do not have the tie downs, but these are very good. Each vehicle should always have it so that they're tied into place in the event. Okay. If accident, you were in an accident, yeah. it's not going to shift around. And then I would close it. Okay. Um, getting them out, stay. We want to make sure that they do not rush. Very important. I want to be able, oh, back. <laughs> He's like, I'm very big. I want to make sure I can get all the equipment placed. I don't have to worry about the coat. Out, okay. good boy. Close it. And we can put the coat on afterwards. Okay. Yeah, I was just like, this is a huge crate, but you just put the back seat down and it fits. And yeah, like you said, there's tie downs everywhere. Yep. And honestly, this is a large, so it looks like it might be a little smaller, but when you're traveling, you don't want the dog to have too much room. Sure, they could fall like over. Like you would, because mm -hmm. if in the event something tragic happens, you want to make sure they're in there kind of compact as okay. well. Well, thank oh, you, Marissa. Well. Okay, well now joining us is John Ross with Subaru of America. Yeah. And John, you sort of made this magic happen for us with this partnership with Southeastern Guide Dogs and Subaru. And how many cars have you given us? Well, I believe we're on our third promo car. And then Southeastern Guide Dogs has, I believe, what, four or five cross tracks as well? Of them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's been, there's quite a few Subarus in service here at Southeastern Guide Dogs. And we, we tend to nudge our, our, um, supporters and towards your direction as well simply because yeah. these cars i mean they're great cars and they have so many features that are geared toward pets and and riding around safely like we were showing with astro yeah. you want to tell us a little bit about the accessories that you guys offer so we have uh, quite a few pet accessories we have a ladder actually that will uh, will retract and go out the back of the car it allows the dogs to walk up into the back of the car okay uh, we have um uh, protectors for the rear. We have protectors for the rear seats that cover mm -hmm. the seats. We have a dog uh, protector for the, the rear back seat. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a harness system that the uh, dog will wear and it uh, clips into the same clips you use for a car seat or oh, a child sure. seat and it helps the dog to be restrained in the event of an accident so it keeps the dog in place and and uh -huh. uh, so we we have a lot of different great accessories do you, just for people that may not be in the market for a subaru right now do these accessories work with other vehicles too uh yeah absolutely oh, yeah you, you could definitely go to a subaru retailer and purchase them right from the parts department and and use them in a different car too but while you're waiting to buy your new subaru so awesome and <laughs> another thing i want to point out subaru they do the share the love campaign so if somebody's in the market please choose us as the charity yeah yeah that's a great one too yeah this super share the love campaign we just finished our 15th year of the super mm -hmm. share the love campaign and we've donated over 255 million dollars wow. to charities and uh, it's been just a phenomenal campaign and we have several retailers that partner with southeastern guide dogs mm -hmm. as their hometown charity and uh, in their in their areas too that's awesome so, yeah and you know People buy a car, you give back, we forward the mission. It's just a beautiful full circle thing. Yep, yep. And John, I gotta thank you for being a Walkathon sponsor for so many years. Yes. You, you've sponsored several things, several of our campaigns actually. Yeah, yeah, we have. And the Walkathons have been a fantastic match for us. We uh, we partner up with our retailers that are uh, based locally at the lo the Walkathon locations. Uh -huh. And they will come and, and support the Walkathon and display a car. It's just a great fit for our retailers. Taylor. Subaru mm -hmm. is all about giving back to the community through yeah. our Love Promise program, and the walkathons just uh, are just a wonderful match for that. At one of the walkathons, I think it was this last year, one of the cars, they did have the ladder and that was just so cool. Oh, yeah. and so many people were drawn to it and they're like, what is this? Yeah. But yeah. very, especially for the older dogs yeah. who, who might not yes. really, you know, the hips aren't doing the jumping anymore. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. I have a 15 year old black lab oh. and uh, she, she uses that ladder, yeah. gets right up into the car. 
Um, the other option is to pick him up, but sometimes, if, oh, uh, you know, they, she's, you know, that's that's kind of a, a task if you're doing that yeah. several times a day, and that ladder just works great. That's so. awesome. I'm gonna get a ladder. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have a littler dog, but he's, yeah. he's a corgi. He's Corgi poo is really short, so he needs a ladder too. Yeah. For a very different ladder. reason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Might yeah. as well. Exactly. Well, John, thank you so much. Well, thank you. Appreciate you. We appreciate the support with Southeastern Guide Dogs, and we uh, really enjoy the partnership. And uh, it's just a wonderful match for Subaru, and and uh, we it's been many years now, and uh, we're looking forward to many more years going forward. So. That makes me very happy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Signature sponsor. So we'll, yeah, we'll keep. We'll come back next year. Do it again. All right. Sounds great. <laughs> thank you, John. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Marissa. Thanks. Astro and I hope all of you guys have a great weekend. Thanks. See you later.